Hey guys, Losing Louie here, and I'm starting a new series. This is going to be called um, Bullion Microbreweries. So what does uh, bullion and uh, beer have in common? Well, the craze for craft beer or microbreweries um, is really in full swing. <clears throat> a significant percentage of uh, beer consumption is coming uh, from uh, small craft breweries. And the same thing, I think, is going to be happening in the uh, poured silver market. I was just reviewing an article from uh, silvercoins.com, and uh, they have an article called uh, The 17 Amazing Hand-Poured Silver Bars and Ingots. I'll go through these uh, with you briefly at the end of this video, um, just to tell you who those companies are. <clears throat> and, of course, there are familiar names like Atlantis and uh, Jaeger, um, but there are some other ones uh, that are less known. And uh, I'm going to start uh, looking at some of these products. Uh, the one I have for you today is uh, from Vulture Peak Mines. Uh, now, I became familiar with them when I bought uh, this little 5-gram um, little ingot for about five bucks. And I took that <clears throat> and I, I hammered that into my first little silver guitar pick. Um, so uh, you know, that's how I became familiar with them. But then I noticed uh, they gave me a link to their website and uh, they have quite a few uh, really cool products on their website. So today we're going to be doing Vulture Peak Mines. So here we go. And this will be the first time I've actually seen their poured bars. Um, they have everything from uh, one ounce up to 10 ounce, as I recall. Perhaps they had some some bigger bars, but um, I think 10 was the biggest. So uh, I don't know about the the um, the appreciation potential in these bars. I can't make any comment about that. I'm just buying these for fun and collectability and to admire the poured silver. But uh, let me tell you briefly what I got. <clears throat> um, well, maybe I won't. Hold on. Um, oh, gee. Okay. Well, uh, Vulture Peak Mines, uh, thank you. Thank you for your business. Uh, subscribe to our email list. The prices are lower if you go directly through them rather than through their eBay store. So uh, here is the first item. Pardon me. I'm trying a new camera setup, and it is not working. Oh, okay, so we have two different bars. The first one <clears throat> is a 1.03 ounce, 0.999 poured silver bar. So let's get a good look at that. So there they are. Uh, I can take this out of here. Well, you know, it's going to be more hassle to take it out, but... Um, <clears throat> Let's get you close up this way. So there is the Vulture Peak logo with a little um, pick and shovel crossed, 0.999. And there is the other side. That's the one ounce bar. Sorry, I don't recall the prices. Um, here is <clears throat> a 2.03 uh, poured bar. This is the uh, center logo bar that uh, has some pretty nice pore lines. They, they stamp their logo in the middle of the pore lines. Okay, and here is the back. Um, two troy ounces, 0.999 silver. But the bar um, that got me to buy this order, which looked really amazing online, was this guy here. Um, actually, the 6 and the 8 ounce looked really cool. Uh, this is the 6 ounce. Looks like, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's not 6.03, that's 6 OZ. Um, 6 ounce, Vulture Peak. I'm going to take this one out. It was a substantial premium over spot, as you would expect. There we go. Ooh, wow.
OK. So there it is. Six ounces. Very beefy. Not bad. All right, so tell me what you think. The one on line looked uh, like the poor lines were uh, better, honestly. But uh, not bad. Okay, so there you have it. First in the series of Bullion Microbreweries, Vulture Peak Mines. All right, guys, as promised, uh, here is the article from silvercoins.com. I'll put the link to it down in the description box. Uh, 17 amazing hand-poured silver bars and ingots. And here we go. This will be quick. Number one, Atlantis Mint. Number two, the three-leaf clover from Bison Bullion. Cool logo. Number three, hand-poured silver ing ingot from Segnati, S-E-G-N-A-T-I, on eBay. Number four, Texas, 3.6 ounce from Hack Precious Metals. Number five, the silver skull from Goulier67, J-U-I-L-L-E-R. That looks like a, uh, a wax or a sand casting. Number six, Monarch Precious Metals, 2 ounce silver bar. You know about them. Number seven, the Silver Tombstone from Scottsdale Mint. Number eight, the Silver Pistol Gun, seven ounce from Bison Bullion. That's two from Bison here. Not trying not to favor anybody. Um, number nine, the Round Silver Loaf Metal Metals from Palmetto State Bullion. Number 10, the Hemp Leaf 1-ounce Silver Bar from Southwest Paradise Silver Bullion on eBay. Number 11, Ed Marshall Refineries 5-ounce Silver Bar. Number 11, Silvertown Hand Poured Silver Bar, you know them. Number 12, Silver X Gold, Pirate Round, very cool. Number 13, Hand Poured Silver Star from Jaegers. You guys know all about Jaegers because of Silver Slacker. The Dog Bone. Number 14, the Silver Square Ingot from Maggie's Bullion. Australia. Number 15, poured silver rounds from Vulture Peak Mines. Okay, I did not buy that one today. Uh, by the way, the, the silver that I'm unboxing in this series, the producers do not know that I'm doing that. Number 16, Prospector's Gold and Gems Silver Bar. That looks a lot like the Vulture Peak Mines logo. Number 17, Engelhard. Don't need to introduce them. That was it. So that was all 17. Uh, thank you, silvercoins.com. And uh, that is uh, the end of this uh, presentation. You guys have a wonderful day. Oh, almost forgot. And don't forget about the kernel, okay? And there is one more guy you won't want to forget about. But don't tell him I told you. It might go to his head. Bye, guys.